Hello friends, welcome back. We shall continue with our unit number 6. This lecture should be taken on 2nd of April and in your lecture timing 10 to 11. We are continuing with the unit number 6. In the last lecture, we discussed about the cranes and today we are going to start a new earth moving machinery that is a scrapper. So today's lecture content would be the introduction to scrappers, what are the different components in there and then what is the operation cycle of a scrapper. So you might have seen any kind of scrapper but generally, generally we do not have seen these things in the city life or in the industry. But yes, in case of your uh, construction sites, you might find this out or maybe near to the coal mining things you can find it out the scrappers so we'll discuss about the components and their operation cycle so what is a scrapper i'll just give you one example it is actually not a scrapper the image that you can see over here is not actually a scrapper but the work of a scrapper is like this a scrapper is a machine used for moving or removing dirt gravel and any other unnecessary material from the surface so this kind of mechanical element is also planing the surface secondly removing any kind of dirt or uh, any kind of stones or pebbles are available onto the surface they should be removed from this in civil engineering a wheel tractor scrapper is a piece of heavy equipment used for earth moving now this scrapper can be loaded on tractor secondly there is a different or separate machine for this or it can be added on to a bulldozer so bulldozer is requirement whether scrapper if you wanted to use a scrapper a heavy workable scrapper if you wanted to use that it would be with the bulldozer only so the rear part of the scrapper has a vertical movable hopper with a sharp horizontal front edge so as you can see there's a this is a front edge so this front edge is available when on the ground there are so many gravels are available pebbles are available hard materials are available but it is onto the surface and if you wanted to remove that if you wanted to collect it or remove it then the scrapper is the only thing which you can use over there that's why he says that the rear part of a scrapper has a movable hopper with a sharp horizontal front edge which can be raised or lowered so the front edge is raised as you can see i just wanted to show you an image so see here this is the blade can you see this here yeah this one is the blade which can be moved up and down when it moves as per your setting or the depth of the land you wanted to move in then you can check its height so when you wanted to remove the material from the surface so this blade would be down and then if you wanted to collect it over body already then you close it down there then he says that the, the front edge cuts into the soil like a carpenter's plane cutting wood and fills the hopper and hopper is filled when the hopper is full it is raised closed and the scrapper can transport to the any other area i wanted to clear you through this image only see if this is the hopper sorry this is your blade and upside this is your hopper it is completely vacant when your blade is fall down and it moves forward direction then the material will be collected automatically inside the hopper when the hopper is completely filled then this will be closed and you can transport it to any other location the scrapper is a large piece of equipment which is used in the mining construction as i told you in earth moving application the rear part has a vertically movable hopper this movable this hopper can move up and down it is also known as a bowl with a sharp horizontal front edge can you see here the sharp horizontal front edge the hopper can hydraulically lowered and raised when the hopper is lowered the front edge cuts into the soil or a clay like a plane and fills the hopper as i told you as this case the back panel of the hopper or the ejector is hydraulically pushed forward and the load tumbles out he says that if you wanted to unload the load into this this would be moved upside sorry this would be moved upside and the whole of the load could be taken out 
then the empty scraper returns to the cut site and repeat the cycle so this hooper can move in this direction and in this direction so it can completely rotate so when it rotates so it can vacant the hopper or the bow then it can be used this is the ideal piece of earth moving machinery as it loads transport and spread material unfortunately yes there is a one bigger disadvantage for this is cannot move long distances first thing because of the heavier load and moving less moving capacity its its tire gets burnt out so that's why we cannot use it for a longer distances second reason it cannot be used on the rocky ground because the wear and tear of the blade could be there could be increased so on a rocky surface in a soft soil or in the agricultural land or a construction site they are quite soft but on the hilly side these blade will be worn out correct and that's why we cannot use it it takes between 30 second or 1 minute for the scraper to load itself so in a 1 minute it can be fully transport fully filled then loading and transporting earth over earth moving machinery over short distances means lesser than 2 miles yeah now these are the component of scraper in the front there is a radiator the engine compartment the rops everybody knows the hitch hitch is a point where there all this scraper is joined there then the draft frame the ejector to take out the and the push block extends from the behind wheel that's a simple component and uh, it's having a tractor over there then what is the operation cycle the operation cycle is completely important for this why because for the loading the driver loads the body of the scraper onto the soil and opens the gate as i told you the blade falls down and it opens and then the it start the cutting or taking removing the surface of the earth the next a powerful bulldozer pushes back the of the machine and pushes an order to fill the body it means if i just show you this image in this image at the back there's a bulldozer is working it's a heavy material which is moving pushing it forward so that it will move forward and fills the bowl inside the material then what happen in here for the transport once the body has been filled the driver closes the gate and lift up the body then whole front part which is sunk into the soil that will be taken up and the bulldozer is no longer required then bulldozer is required only when you need to fill the hopper or when you need to push the scraper in a forward direction in in its working conditions and once it has been completely filled your bulldozer would be off and the when the bulldozer is off then you can use it take it to anywhere or transport anywhere then to unload it then unloading takes place while the ma machine is moving so while moving the machine the unloading can take place wherever you want to spread the soil or the material you can spread it you cannot make a bundle of it you cannot make a bundle of it means it cannot be tied at one place so it has to be spread it over so this machine can only collect and spread the things over a short distance it cannot moves beyond 3 kilometers or you can say the 2 miles the driver opens the gate and activate the ejector which with help of a powerful jack means jack is used to lift up this body a jack is used to lift up this body so that the material which is already filled inside can be taken out so in this case the unloading takes place while move, move, machine is moving the driver opens the gate and activates the ejector which with the help of powerful jack expels the material from the front of the body so what are the application as a dozer it is a dozer it can become for a short hole less than 100 meter and a scraper which will be medium hole up to 1000 meter it means it can work as a dozer for a short hole means for a small work but less than 100 meter where the uh, distance would be moved 100 meter but as it could be a scraper when it is a medium hole means more distance has to be covered than it would be scraper now next i wanted to show you a graph in this graph you might have seen on the one side on the x axis there's a feet distance means feet means the distance traveled and on the top side i would say it's a weight means if a weight is there and how much distance is to be moved is to be shown onto this graph and different equipment or earth moving machineries are available you can see over here can you see that so there is a first one tractor track type tractor then a wheel tractor then wheel loader then tow type means 
This could be used tractor type for a short distances but heavier loads and as you move up the load would be increases the distance would be increases and according to your usage according to your application you can use any of the tractor or scrapper or bulldozer or a wheel loader anything you can use according to the weight and the distance up to it it has to be moved so it's a hauling equipment which is required in this so this is all about today's lecture if you wanted to check my other videos you must subscribe this channel tiny steps where you can find your previous videos and as well as the further videos which i am going to upload there so thank you